Let's say you've made this beautiful vase in SolidWorks and now would like to uh, shell it so it's actually a hollow vase. You can highlight a face, features, shell. You want to shell it to something like a quarter inch thick. And all of a sudden this warning comes up. The thickness value is greater than the minimum radius of curvature, which really is hard to understand. And even though the shell works, you can get a few surfaces that don't look right. That is a very uh, complex and seems to be inconsistent surface. How do you uh, prevent something unpredictable such as this? And how do you know if your shell is going to have integrity or not? Let's go over a few strategies on understanding shells a little bit better. If I go to edit this shell, and I shell it more thin, something like 0.01 or 10 thousandths. And all of a sudden, all the problems and discontinuity is gone. Shelling it thinner is a solution, but sometimes you want it or need it to be more thick. Why does shelling it thinner seem to help? Let's go over to another model that is a little bit easier to visualize. Um, one, if we can visualize shelling a little bit more, let's say I want to uh, use an offset surface command, right? I come over here to offset surface. Well, shell actually works and throws errors in the same method that offset surface does. And so if, we, if I look at this curvature for a moment, Notice I have a radius right here, and this is a, a spline driven, right? So there's going to be one point on here that's the tightest radius or the minimum radius. And uh, as long as I stay uh, less than the value of that radius, right? As long as I offset less than the value of the tightest part of that radius, I'm fine. But if I start to get bigger than that radius, then in order to satisfy the offset distance, of a small radius, this surface actually has to fold over on itself to satisfy that condition. And you can visualize that more and more as we ask more and more offsetting surfaces. The more I offset, the more that these surfaces have to fold over on themselves in order to satisfy the condition. And if you're going to try to shell that, that is not realistic. That can't happen in real life and be able to exist as a solid. So that's where the warning comes from that says the shelling distance is greater than the minimum radius of curvature. So if we address that, how do we find the minimum radius of curvature in this model to make sure that we don't exceed it? Well, let me delete this shell. So now we're back to a straight hunk of solid. Let's type check into our commands box. And we can choose this option here that says check. It gives me a few things that I can check. What I'm interested in here is the minimum radius of curvature. So I check that box and I'll do a stringent surface and solid check. I'll hit the button and it immediately gives me my minimum radius of curvature, which it has found as 0.181799 inches. I can even highlight this line on the result list, and an arrow comes up and shows me the exact location of my minimum radius of curvature. And that gives me a few options. First one being, now that I know, I can use a uh, shell command and shell it to less than the minimum radius of curvature. And that would be something like, uh, how about 0.175 inches. And now I don't have the uh, same difficulties that I had before. Another option that I have if I delete this shell is, is to uh, actually change the sketch. And uh, what I can do is open up my check again, and I can see exactly where my minimum radius of curvature it happens here. And uh, so if I pay attention to this area, you'll see that I actually have a sketch at that area that I can adjust. So if I simply give this a larger radius of 
curvature. And now I check my model. I have a much larger point, 203. And so now, if I wanted to, uh, of course, point 203 still isn't that uh, quarter inch that I wanted to have. So I'll uh, start to smooth out some of these other sketches. And let's check that. 0.49668 is now my minimum radius of curvature. If I go to show this to what I originally wanted, 0.25, now I've been able to show it very quickly. And I've been able to uh, show it without any errors. One way to check the integrity of your shell is on the Evaluate tab to use the zebra stripes. As long as all these stripes are con continuous with each other, you know that um, you have a consistent curvature. So for instance, nothing is connecting this zebra stripe to a stripe on the bottom face, so I know that there is a sharp point there. Likewise, you can use the curvature, and you should be able to see smooth and predictable curvature without any abrupt patches of red. Not red is not inherently bad, it's just when you have an abrupt patch of red, it may indicate that your surface is not continuous. This is simply assigning a color to the amount of radius that you have. So as long as these colors flow well, there's not a problem. Another strategy to have, notice my uh, radius of curvature, my, my minimum radius of curvature on this new model is now 0.49. If I wanted to show this a distance of 0.6, you can see that everything fails. So if I choose the Shell Outward option, well, now I'm able to shell it effectively without any errors. The shell outward uh, does exactly that. Instead of going from the outside in, it says that this outer surface will now be the inside, and we're going to add thickness outside instead of inside. So that's another quick and easy workaround. So overall, when you have shelling issues, offset surface can help you visualize where a problem might be. In addition, the check feature can give you a good idea as to your minimum radius of curvature and give you a nice parameter to stay within when shelling. Additionally, the shell outward command uh, can give you a lot more options and flexibility in avoiding problems with the minimum radius of curvature, assuming that the outside of the part is more forgiving than the inside. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.